Today on Pro Church Daily, we're talking about 11 free social media tools for churches. Well, hey there, and welcome to Pro Church Daily, the show where in 10 minutes or less, you'll get your daily dose of tips and tactics to help your church share the message of Jesus while we navigate the biggest communication shift that we've seen in the last 500 years. I'm your host, Alex Mills. I'm joined, as always, by the boss man. It's Brady Shearer. And today we're talking about 11 free social media tools for churches. We all know how important social media is for the life of our church church and its searchability online, as well as just engaging our churches throughout the week that sees the 167 life. And so we wanted to uh, take inventory, do an audit of the social media tools that we use that are free, the ones that are definitely integral to our activity on social media, and share those with Pro Church Nation. Sweet. There's 11 of them. 11 tools, 10 minutes or less. So let's dive right in. Let's get into it. Tool number one is Instagram business profiles. If you sign up for an Instagram account, you are going to be given an Instagram personal profile. It is 100% free to change, to translate that profile over to a business account. Mm -hmm. And the myriad of benefits exist, but there's really no downside to doing it. It doesn't change the uh, appearance of your profile or anything, but what it does give you is a bunch of statistics and data that you can leverage to understand your audience more, to see how your posts are performing, dial into what's doing well, what's not doing well, and give you insight into your activity on Instagram as a whole. So we looked into our Instagram profile, the at Brady Shearer account, to see, hey, what kind of data is our Instagram business profile giving us? And so Mm -hmm. here are some of the interesting things that we found looking into that data. First, I looked at what posts perform best on my Brady Shear Instagram account. And I should make note that we have a professional photographer on staff who is highly skilled. (laughs) And yet, the most popular post of the last year is a screenshot of a tweet. (laughs) Because Instagram does not care. I know. And as much as they will say, this is a visual aesthetic platform that's all about beauty, no. It's about screenshots of tweets. It's just disrespectful. It's about stopping frankly. the scroll. <laughs> and so these are the type of insights that you likely won't gain unless you have the real hard data. Right. Because who would have thought that a screenshot of a tweet would be my most popular Instagram post over the last year? Yeah. No one. No. Now we know. Yeah. This is the type of data that is important because when you know what's working, you can do more of what's working and exactly. you can be more successful. Other interesting things, when it comes to my demographics on Insta, 72% men, 28% women, and the biggest age demographic, 25 to 34. And what, notably on your Instagram account, one of um, the geographical locations, I, it might actually be the top one top for you, one. is actually Brisbane in yeah. Australia, which is so interesting to me. And another city that pops up all the time, Melbourne. Yeah. So apparently the Aussies love the pro church nation i guess so canadians and aussies there you go the power uh also you can figure out when your followers are most active which is hugely important for figuring out when you can post again all through the instagram business profile 100 percent free yep tool number two buffer buffer is a social media scheduling tool for twitter and facebook and now also instagram right it has a free plan a free forever plan and all the tools that we share in this list they're not just tools that have like a 30-day free trial. Yeah. We're talking about tools that have a free forever plan that is actually valuable. And I think the free forever plan for Buffer allows at this time up to 10 scheduled posts. And you can use that for as long as you need. And if you need to upgrade to a paid plan, I think they're pretty much their highest paid plan. They have enterprise accounts, but the ones that your church will need, it's like 10 bucks a month. Yeah. But again, we used it for free for years. Yes. Tool number three that is also free, Evernote. Not only am I reading my Pro Church daily notes in my Evernote right now, as am I. but I use Evernote as my digital notebook for literally everything in my life. Yep. You never know when inspiration is going to strike. You never know when it's going to be 1 a.m. and you'll be like, I have an amazing idea yeah. for social media. <laughs> right. If you do not write that down, you will lose it. Yeah. And then the next day you'll be like, I had an amazing idea, but I forgot it. There's a whole episode of Seinfeld about this yeah. because that's real life. Evernote, always in my pocket. And my mobile device, I can take it out, write down any of my ideas for social on the go, and then I know I'm never going to forget them. Also has a great desktop platform as well. It's, and it it's, syncs everywhere. Yeah. Exactly. I use it on all the devices, and it's great. No matter where device you're on at the time, it's always there, and yeah, so easy. All right, so let's jump to tool number four, Vizco, which I believe stands for Visual Supply Company. Uh, Vizco is amazing for editing your photos mm-hmm. and creating a very nice aesthetic look when it comes to color grading and the such. Uh, do you use Vizco? Uh, I don't anymore because I use all my own presets, but I, I did used to use Vizco. And, and there are there are presets built into Instagram and other you know uh, photo apps, but Vizco does really have... Uh, in, in my opinion, as a photographer, the best like stylistic, mm. like one click presets, uh, perfect 
for for editing photos that you've taken on your phone maybe you know you've snapped some at church you just want to um have them pop a little bit these presets are designed by photographers and and ready for you to use for free on visco just to kind of step up that that level of imagery a little bit another great way of using visco is on a sunday morning let's say you have a photographer like alex and they're shooting photos most uh cameras now dslrs and micro four thirds cameras come with wi-fi and right. so what you can do is you can take a photo on your dslr and you don't have to bring it into lightroom or into an actual desktop or laptop yeah. you can transfer it via wi-fi directly to your phone edit with invisco and then publish directly from there yep. which is an amazing use of a streamlined workflow using these new uh, new tools and tech uh, similar to visco another tool that i like is called prime it's spelled with two eyes not amazon prime not prime the uh, Instagram time scheduling tool. Right. It's Prime with two eyes. And what is different about Prime compared to Visco is Prime uh, uses artificial intelligence to analyze the actual colors That's in the cool. photo that you've taken. And then it will suggest a preset based on the colors and the overall profile of your photo so that you don't have to just go and say, oh, maybe this, pro this preset will look good. Right. It uses the intelligence of color theory, matches it with an existing preset, and pairs the two together. Very cool. Very cool. Another tool that is free is AirDrop. When we were in Hawaii, we were hanging out with this uh, this guy named Alex. He's a youth pastor, also a photographer. He was taking a bunch of photos uh, throughout the day, and instead of waiting to go home to transfer them, we yep. would just turn on AirDrop, and he would transfer them directly to me. So again, the use case for this for church is on a Sunday morning, let's say Alex is taking the photos and editing them, but he knows that I'm the one in charge of the social media right. for the church. He can capture the photos, AirDrop them to me, and then I can publish them directly from my social media accounts. I use AirDrop every single day and I'm shocked often and this just happened this past weekend with how many people are using Apple devices and don't know about AirDrop. They're like, I'm messaging them self photos. A and classic. It's like you can do this so much faster and so much more efficient with AirDrop. And so, uh, you know, if you're in an image or whatever and you click on that little share button, AirDrop will be one of your options. You can share just about anything, files, music, like sending sending a full album worth of music over AirDrop is super fast. Like I do it between my computer and my wife's computer all the time. Um, and yeah, it's built into to every Apple device and ready for you to use. Six tools down, five to go. The remaining five are all tools that are built directly within the native Instagram Stories editor. Instagram Stories continues to impress me with their new features yeah. and their innovation. What would normally take six different apps, you can do within the suite of Instagram Story apps and Instagram uh, connected native apps. Yep. Those features include, there are five of them that I chose that I use all the time that are amazing for creating content on the fly. Boomerang for GIFs. You do not need another app to create GIFs. You can use Boomerang directly within Instagram stories. Yep. Hyperlapse for time lapses. This is another app that you'll need to download, but it is made by Instagram, works directly with Instagram, and allows you to create time lapses with your phone. Yep. Very cool. Number three, Layout for collages, another third party app from Instagram. You can take three different photos and then create how you want them to be made within a single photo. Right. And you can choose from different layouts, like two on the side, one on the side, all three stacked on uh, vertically, stacked horizontally. Yep. Find whatever looks best, create a collage. Focus for shallow depth of field, audio, and video. So if you wanna blur out the background for a photo or video that's focused on a human face, you can do that natively now within the Instagram Stories app. Yep. You don't even need a DSLR. Yep. DSLR will look nicer, but that's it's, it's a pretty cool you know, simulation of that effect. Yeah, and they can you can do that with any phone, like any phone that doesn't even have portrait mode. Uh, somehow, Instagram has figured out a way using you know digital tech as opposed to hardware, as opposed to having like actually two yeah. lenses on your phone uh, to simulate that depth of field look. It's very, very cool. And the final one, Stop motion, again, within the Instagram this stories fun. interface, you can create stop motion, uh, which is a bunch of different pictures that turn into a video, and so it's like this little choppy, stuttery uh, video, yeah. a very cool look that is also pretty trendy right now, all within that Instagram stories and Instagram app itself, which is, of course, 100% free. So there you have it, 11 free social media tools for churches, for creating content, for editing your photos, for sharing your images, for scheduling, and for analytics. All 100% free forever. That'll do it for today's episode of Pro Church Daily. We'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode of Pro Church Daily. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video and hit the church bell for notifications. And if you like this video, it really does mean the world to us if you like it. Hey, thanks for watching the... <laughs> I mean, I had, okay. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode of Pro Church Daily. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you never miss another video. And if you haven't liked this video yet, 
All you need to do is hit it. What? <laughs> what? No. Hit the video. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Tap it. <laughs> Try that one more time. 